going on YouTube? This is Mason AJ with the official bringing to our episode four reaction review to the Marvel Netflix series Jessica Jones. Now I gotta go ahead and tell you right now, out of all the episodes I've seen, if you haven't already seen the previous reaction reviews we did for episodes one through three, this is my favorite episode so far. I mean, we ended the last episode um, with Jessica Jones seeing all the photographs of her taken by Kilgrave. So obviously Kilgrave has inspired her. This is the you know for quite a while quite quite a while and now she starts the episode on this episode trying to find the shooter on who's been spying on her you know for Kilgrave and but she doesn't know who it could possibly be um but side note with all that because you know that's a major theme of the whole episode I gotta give props to Audrey Eastman Audrey Eastman is probably the most critical character I have seen so far in all of the MCU world okay all the world including the movies and the TV show yeah, I got to say like that because Audrey Eastman represents to me um, real people in a super powered world. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go on a little bit of a rant. And I'm sorry, but you know, try to follow me and see where I go with this. A lot of times, more so in DC than Marvel, um, we don't. It doesn't feel like the the world functions. And to, for Audrey Eastman to suffer a loss, the loss of her mother in such a traumatic event, she needed someone to blame and she had that grieving and that anger and everything else. So, to, and seeing how, to, in her mind, the her world, everything about, about it, well, her pretty much got done top to term. She's seen, and that very same day that she lost her mom and her, and she watched her bleep stuff, she saw aliens and a giant, you know, giant green man and, you know, and she just couldn't accept that. It might seem like just craziness, but see, people are crazy and to see how that big event affected this one person and now that one person is affecting Jessica Jones it, it seemed like it seemed like you know what this is a real person and I felt sorry for her as much as I, as much as I disagree with her methods as much as I wanted her Jessica Jones to beat her ass, like fully fully beat her ass, I was looking like I feel you I can full on feel you because it feels like a, how, how a real person, how one of many real people would react to the situation. A lot of times, you know, especially because we're nerds, we like to argue, we want to be superheroes. I'm like, the world isn't always going to react very well to you being a superhero or you fighting to save the day. And, the, and true enough, Audrey lost her mother and I really felt bad for her. But once again, because she didn't have the coping mechanisms she needed, and who could possibly have those type of things at this point in time, it just showed how the events are trickling down and affect people. And like I said, I, I just really enjoyed that aspect of it. It could just be a full on Masonism, something that I, I picked up on that you guys might not share my opinions with like that. But seeing that and seeing how Audrey Everett has set up this whole psychotic plan. And once again, she's not a super villain. She didn't get hit by radiation. She's, you know, she's just a regular person and she, and, and the whole event, the whole the whole event was very traumatizing to her and completely turned her. Now, with Audrey Eastman out the way, this episode was still hard as nails. Uh, we, get, we, got, we, got, we got introduced to Will Simpson, who is the cop who, um, who pretty much attacked Trish and Jessica, Jessica had to trick him. Yeah, I like seeing him because all the other people we've seen be affected by Kilgrave are usually like in like, they usually don't have any regulations. So to see the effects of it fresh on him and how he's trying to cope and deal with it. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. You know, I really love seeing like that aspect of it. And now I like I like how Jessica Jones is building up her, her own little crew. It's like this is like an RPG, like like Mass Effect, the Fallout. But now she, she has like she's building up members of her crew to, to you know to pretty much get you know get strong enough to take on Kilgrave. I'm like, all right, Jessica, I see you, I see you. Also, I like how the team members are helping each other. How I like how Will. You know, at the end of the day, him just being a regular guy with his special forces training and everything else, he really just wanted to help Trish feel safe because everything about that situation violated her sense of safety. You know, and it really threw, it threw the karma god classes out the window, it threw the safe room out the window, and she had to feel safe on the inside with herself before she can go on a function in any way, shape, and form in the world. And I'm glad that he understood that, and I'm glad the, the show um, added so much more of humanity to the character of not only Trish, but people who are going through these, these traumatic events. And it gave me some bonus points of will for thinking, going the extra step to really help Trish out. Um, the, but also, speaking of helping people out, these people definitely, definitely need help, was the, the crazies. Okay, all the craziness, all the crazy people who came to the, um, who came to Karen Aaron Moss's, um, not Hogarth, who came to Hogarth's office to respond to the call and how they all these wild, integrated stories about how they've been taken over by aliens and how the one chick was pregnant and how, you know, their, their gardener had got all the people in the, you know, all the people in the neighborhood pregnant. I really enjoyed hearing that. I was laughing. My 
I'm looking like, oh man. But then, you know, luckily, because of that very hilarious to the event, Jessica Jones was able to put together a group of people that had met Kilgrave and established a pattern, you know, of like people. And look like, okay, I like seeing how everything's put together. Side note, did you guys, are you guys, I'm starting to think that Jessica Jones has a thing against Glass. Like, all throughout the series so far, once again, we're only on episode four, Glass is always just breaking. I like, I feel like Glass is somehow Jessica Jones' sworn enemy. Cause she's always like breaking it some way in some form. And finally, I gotta say this, um, I said it in the last reaction review, and like now it, really, it came full circle how Malcolm is important. Okay, cause he was shown way too many times to not be important, and it turns out he is the shooter. And it, it made, it, it was so heart-wrenching because it was somebody that Jessica trusted, and tr obviously trusted for a very long time. So now the question is, how long, you know, how long has this been going on? For like, like weeks, days, months? You know, so and it really kind of, and for her to have so few people that she, you no, know, she doesn't have any real friends unless people that she can really trust. But to have someone that was still in her circle, you know, be acting this way, and she has no idea, just once again fully violates her sense of self, of safety. You know, so it just fully prepared me, compelled me to watch the next episode. I was just so, so excited. And then, you know, once again, I'm really, I really hope that he ends up making it in the end somehow, some way. I mean, maybe he's already dead and gone. But you know what else? Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this episode of Jessica Jones. I am so loving the series so far. It's giving me all types of nerdtastic excitement. Um, what do you guys think about R.G. Eastman? Did you, what do you guys think about, you know, the all the other side characters bringing the face? Um, I really enjoy the level of subtlety and nuances that Jessica Jones builds, more so than Daredevil especially. But um, I really want to know how you guys are reacting to the series so far. Have you already finished it? Are you on episode one, episode four? Um, let me know what you guys think. I'm definitely going to be over the course of the weekend, be bringing you more reaction reviews to the rest of the series. We're going to finish trial throughout the weekend. Um, once again, this is Mason AJ with the official now. I'm still loving Jessica Jones. Special guest with the one time only podcast extraordinaire, Gwenessa. Yep. Okay. Miss Jamie, if you're nasty. Oh. <laughs> and we're here today to talk about like pretty much our reaction slash review slash breakdown of the Jessica Jones trailer. I got a whole bunch of Facebook messages. People asking, what do you think? What do you think? 